future of South Dakota's abortion laws took two major turns. Members of pro-choice and pro-life organizations were in downtown Sioux Falls today to react to a possible measure that South Dakotans might vote on come November. John Gaskins joins us with our top story here at 6. John, good evening. Good evening, Andrea. The Cotons for Health has filed petitions containing over 55,000 signatures to get what it's calling a freedom amendment on the November ballot. The measure would restore abortion rights, particularly in cases of rape, incest, and dangerous pregnancies. No pregnant woman, unless she is about to die, has the freedom to make her own decisions about her pregnancy at any stage. Dakotans for Health co-founder Rick Weiland says abortion should be a matter the voters decide, not legislators. And he took a shot at Governor Nome's Freedom Works Here campaign. Freedom doesn't work for women or for a woman who has been raped and becomes pregnant and is told it is legal for her to choose abortion. Meanwhile, the anti-abortion Life Defense Fund, represented by about 20 protesters outside the library, says it will raise thousands, if not millions of dollars to keep the measure off the ballot. People need to understand how radical this initiative is, how radical this amendment is if it goes on our ballot. The group also argues the amendment would legalize late-term abortion after the baby is viable outside the womb. Weiland noted this would be only in the case of saving a life or the health of a woman. Life Defense Fund also claims the initiative takes away parents' right to know when their minor daughter is seeking an abortion. All the, the charges that they've made, and you probably have been handed their brochures over time, uh, are absolutely false. None of them were true when Roe was the law of the land, and none of them are going to be true when our restore, restore Roe amendment becomes the law of our land. Deception is not democracy. Life Defense Fund says it will challenge the legitimacy of the petition in court based on their accusations of the Cotons for Health petitioners misleading the public, a claim Weiland also denies. Um, I think uh, it's all really uh, desperate uh, actions on the opponent's part because they know when this gets on the ballot, it's going to pass. So they're going to do everything they can uh, to try to uh, uh, scare people, uh, dissuade people. Now, according to a poll by South Dakota Newswatch and the Cheeseman Center for Democracy, 65% of South Dakotans want abortion rights decided by a ballot measure. Brian? John Gaskins tonight. John, thank you.